Hey, how's it going everyone? Joey here with TubeSlicer.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the pre-made templates that we provided for you. Now if you haven't downloaded your background templates yet, just head on over to your members area and scroll down right below the actual slicer and you'll see right here on step one that says click here to download your background templates packet. Just go ahead and click on that. You'll download the, the templates file. It is a zip file so you'll have to unzip it. But once you unzip it, just open up the folder. I already have it open right here and you'll see all the folders and all the templates that we have for you. Right now you only see four but we will be adding more and more templates and more pre-made templates and image backgrounds and all that stuff as we create them and as we design them and as we build them. So by the time you see this video, you may see six, 10 or even 20 different folders with a, with a ton of pre-made templates for you to use. In this video, we're only gonna be talking about the pre-made templates uh, so they, that we created for you and right there again you only see four but these are the actual templates the actual thumbnail templates of the tutorials that I'm creating for you for this uh, for the YouTube slicer okay so I thought it'd be kind of cool to go ahead and share the actual thumbnail templates that I created for these tutorials so again I will be adding more as I create more templates and uh, more backgrounds and all that good stuff and also if you have some templates of your own that you created and they're very cool and, and you want to share them with the community just go ahead and send me the templates and i'll go ahead and add them here for for everyone to use now very important that you listen to this part because this part will save you a lot of time and headache. Now you may notice that right here at the end of these files it says .ytsl file. What that means is that this file is only recognized and can only be used by the YouTube slicer. That's it. This is not an image file. It's not a PNG, a JPEG, or a GIF, or any of that. It is only a file that's recognized for, uh, on the YouTube slicer and can only be used on the YouTube slicer okay now what this is I'll show you right now right here as you create your templates now let's say you did not finish or you want to save that template for yourself to use later and change it up a bit what you do here is you click on this save project file all right now what that'll do is it'll save that particular template in a file that's only recognized on YouTube slicer okay again if you have an unfinished project or you want a project that you want to save for later as a template you click on save project name that particular file and then just save it at any particular folder okay and to use these and open them back up it's really simple just go ahead and highlight the one that you want to use then go ahead and drag and drop it to the actual YouTube slicer and that's it it'll be right where you left it off at or if you use one of our pre-made templates you can actually edit this and and do whatever you want with it okay now let me just show you what to do here real quick now right here you see a little silhouette of me right there okay but you can actually use whatever image that you want okay or you don't have to use any image whatsoever okay now to edit this just click on the actual uh, layer that you want to edit so for example if you want to edit this one go right here and just go ahead and put edit this and then proceed to the next one you know custom stuff now I obviously guys I'm like you know just going here on the fly but you, you, you get what I'm saying you could do whatever you want here go ahead and resize it if you if you'd like uh, go ahead and you know just place it move it wherever you'd like you know these templates I created for you I just thought it'd be kind of cool to actually give you the ones from the tutorials and then you could do whatever you want with it and then uh, you know and once you're done uh, editing this and then you like it just go ahead and click on download and uh, name that file and then upload it to any specific YouTube video and if you want to save this as your own uh, little template then again just go ahead and save project and you know you create your own little templates here but that's pretty much it I mean you could edit this any way you want here you know the background just like so and we got tutorials on that in other videos more detailed but I just wanted to show you real quick how to use uh, the pre-made templates and then you know how you can create some of your own all right so with that said if you have any questions whatsoever on this just go ahead and leave them in the comments below